Hey guys, it's Mrs. Graham, and in this video, I want to go over characters with you. Again, I will start here with our exposition because this is where we get introduced to our characters. So characters, it's the person, animals, and things participating in a story. So if we look at characters, uh, we have a protagonist and antagonist are used to describe characters. The protagonist is the main character of the story, the one with whom the reader identifies. This person does not necessarily have to be good, but it's usually the main character and one of the characters that has the most change. They, involve, they evolve in some way. Uh, we also have the antagonist. The antagonist is the force that's in opposition of the protagonist. This person may not be bad or evil, but he or she opposes the protagonist in a significant way. So these two, protagonist and antagonist, think of them, they're like opposites. They, they kind of like attract but repel each other at the same time. They play off of each other. Um, it's essential to have a protagonist and an antagonist in our story. Again, it doesn't mean this has to be the good person and the bad person, but traditionally when we think of the protagonist and antagonist in stories, that this is kind of the hero and this would be the villain. But again, it does not have to be. Um, both of these characters can be complex characters and a complex character means that they evolve throughout the story, that there's some kind of development, that there is some sort of change in some some way. So as you go through and you're writing your short stories, just please keep in mind that you need to have a protagonist and an antagonist. And both of these characters are usually complex characters, meaning that they change and evolve and grow over time. And also your characters should be as lifelike and real as possible so that your readers can identify with your characters. Thanks. See you guys soon.